Okay, so this video, I want to talk about how much it costs to start your online boutique. Um, so I want to do this video first. Sorry, I'm looking at my iPad. I want to do this video first and then do another video of how much it costs to start your store. Um, I'm going to do two different part of that. Um... I'm going to do the first part, which is specialty leasing, and I'm going to do the second part. Specialty leasing is usually about six months, three months, or a year contract when you do with, with a mall. I've only done it with a mall, so I think specialty leasing is only with a mall. And when you do a perm deal, a perm deal is more like an apartment, buying a house thing. You can also do it with the mall, but I think a lot of... Um, strip malls only offer perm deals from my understanding from the research that I have been doing but anyways let's talk about it okay so I'm going to here's my iPad Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say, if you have your own business, um, I do need some advice. <sighs> I have this too many situations going on right now, and I just need to know how to handle them. Um, so I'd like some advice. Um, excuse these. These are things that I have to knock out today, but I feel like I need to calm down. I need to breathe. So I feel like right now is the best time to make this video so I can calm my nerves. Okay, so um, I want to talk about this. How much money do you need to start a boutique? Can you start your boutique with $5,000 or $500? I think yes. But I do have to say this, the more funds you have, the more opportunities you have to offer yourself and your business. Now, I'm not saying you should straight up save five grand to start your business. I would personally recommend starting as small as you can. But if as small as you can is $5,000, that's obviously a privilege over somebody that have 500, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so this is completely my experience and my advice. This is not true. It is, it is not proven. So this is completely my thoughts and everything else. Okay, so I have, depend on how, depend, um, well, no, sorry. If you have more money, you'll be able to have more inventory, a better website, more ads, and pay, influencer, um, pay influencers to repost your shit. You'll have more opportunities. you have more privilege. Um, you'll have more privilege, obviously. But if you have 500, you know, the more money you have, the more privilege you have. It's how it works in the world. Um, but I am going to give you a formula that I wish somebody had given me. Um, on purchasing inventory, saving money for ads, website, and things like that, that I feel like if I knew that, I feel like I would still make the decisions that I make because that, that's who I am. But I wish somebody would at least post more of a formula than just bullshit advice. Sorry, I'm in a funk. I feel like I can say whatever the fuck I want. Anyways, okay. So, everything I am saying here is my experience, like I said, and my experience have to do with where I live, um, my situation, my finance, all of that stuff. Okay, so, the first thing I have to say is when you purchase inventory, I would recommend only buying one or two colors max. I would strongly recommend buying one color unless that second color is blowing up or people are asking for it and when people are asking for it i would recommend doing a pre-order and if that color sell out 
you literally just get it unless it pre-orders sell out don't get the color because you don't want to have inventory that just sit honestly i think that's one of my biggest mistakes i got things in multiple colors um and it was just weird and i regretted doing that okay and the other thing is seasonal inventory i feel like the first thing is knowing where you live and knowing what inventory will do where good where you live um and knowing what kind of inventory you have. So for me, I have a lot of like club wear inventory. So for me, well, this is just me. I personally live in the um in the south. So I feel like it would be crazy for me to sell long sleeve fur stuff, things like that. So when I buy stuff that are long sleeve fur, leather, or whatever it is, I make sure that they're designed so they can have holes in them. Or if I do get something original, I only I make sure to only have one of them. Or if I do get it, I make sure that it's in season and I have it out for all season so it can sell out. Like, let's say I have a puffer puffer jacket and I literally put it out as early as I could, as early as I could, and just left it out the whole entire time um, because you don't want to have inventory in the back and you also don't want to put your, like, put your inventory in sale, um as fast as I see a lot of people do it. Um, another thing is making sure that you buy the proper inventory, mean that you will run less sale. I feel like the more sales you run, a lot, to a lot of people, that mean you get a lot, you get more profit or like you do better. But I feel like to me, um, it doesn't really make a difference. I feel like when I'm not running a sale, I make more money than when I am running a sale. Okay. So the... So here's my formula. So my formula is 30%, 10%, 10%, 5%, 5%, 30%, and 10%. I'm going to explain to you what or all of these percentage for. And you can adjust them, obviously. But please, please, please make sure that you don't buy, um, like, whatever amount of funds you have, you you make sure that you buy all of your inventory for about 40% of it, nothing more. You can do less, but nothing more, like definitely nothing more. Okay, so for inventory, this is with $5,000. I should have done this with $10,000 because it would have been way more easy, but this is just the formula and divide however amount you have, just do 30% of it and to figure out how much you should be spending. Okay, the first amount is 30%. $1,500 would be for inventory, just so you can have a variety of like different styles. Like I said, if you live somewhere cold and you want to sell club and attire, I would recommend doing some research, buying some nice leather vest or peak coats, things like that, that, could, that people can still wear their sexy attire, but also have winter attire to go on top of it. That's the first thing. If you um, if you don't live somewhere cold, I would recommend never buy anything long sleeve. Like for example, I live in South Carolina, and all of my long sleeve inventory that did not sell are going to stay here because it's South Carolina. It doesn't get cold. Okay, so I have website and more here. I would recommend doing ten percent of that for your website. Um, because I feel like your website is very, very, very important. That's $500, um, 10%. I said that. Um, just making sure that you pay someone no more than $500. And I feel like if you're small and you just started, especially if you don't have much fun, I would literally just recommend, um, buying your monthly subscription or your first three month subscription and get one of their website like one of their template for free if you do have that five hundred dollars i would recommend trying to see how much it would be for a year by that year so you know for that whole year you don't have to worry about shit 
and you know but i would recommend spending less money on making the website and more money on running the website it's the same thing but just making sure you're not spending as much like a thousand dollar and creating this perfect website and you have no inventory in it or it's shitty somehow somewhere ads i would recommend running about 500 dollars worth of ads a dollar worth of ads every day like before you're lunching whatever like the different kind of ads your um the different kind of selections seasons that you're launching it doesn't need to be for a lot of money it could be a dollar two dollar but that's ten percent ten percent with the ads um your licenses here in south carolina i needed about two to three licenses um that was about five percent of my income so i i think i could have gotten them all at 250 dollars okay sorry i had a customer okay so i feel like when it comes to licenses um just making sure you're getting the right license for example for me i got a super partnership that was like 75 dollars and then i got an llc which was about 200 and then i got like a llc um with what is it that what is it um i forgot but if i remember i'll put it it's one of those things that you need to sign checks for but it's better tax and better whatever i wish i had just um done it that way instead of doing those first two licenses but that's my process i do regret spending that much money it was about 300 dollars just on licenses that i didn't have to spend so do your research figure out exactly what license you will need for when your business is at a better space so you don't have to fuck up your taxes and your business taxes um and then i have a 250 dollars for your spending saving that money you are allowed to spend very very carefully but you're not allowed to use it unless unless it's it's not like unless you need it need it that is your spending saving you know that money you have in your saving you, if you have certain bills that you forgot about you can use but not money that you would like money that you can't just take out if that makes sense okay so i would recommend about 30 percent um on sh shipping things to influencers and sending them so if one of my biggest mistakes is not blasting everywhere that i was gonna have a boutique um and then also not having influencers not giving influencers products to make content for me before and my business launch and when my business first launched um if you can please don't make that mistake but i would say about 30 percent of your income just if you have it you could literally just do a thousand dollar inventory and five hundred dollars um of shipping if you have influencer that says they just want free clothes if you don't you can do five hundred dollars and then like as you talk to people hopefully i'm still in the process of getting brand ambassador but hopefully people you know that when they realize your small business i'm not saying they low like you know they give you better rates than they would give a huge business but some people their rates are non-negotiable and i understand that but you know the bigger rates you have i would recommend try to find smaller people that you can just give free product to um smaller people that would be grateful just i don't know it's just smaller people generally um so that's the first one so just well that's the one i have before last we only have 10 percent left and that would be um saving your extra saving that is 10 percent 500 dollars. that money you don't have it you don't have that money that money is not for you it's for your business like it's barely for your business it's in an account that you will not touch you cannot touch you don't have that money like that money you don't have so that would be that five hundred dollars so i have 30 10 10 5 5 30 10 so i would personally recommend sticking to something like this so you can kind of see how much you're gonna put in everything and of course like for example if you already talk to influencers and you realize everybody just wants free product you could literally just say okay i'm just gonna save about a hundred dollars 
for shipping i'm just gonna say five percent for shipping because i know my influencers want free clothes and i know those free clothes that they get people are gonna try to get them so i'm gonna stock up on them also don't purchase more than one pack of inventory like right now i feel like we're still at a decent size we're at a decent size and i feel like i'm just now in some item buying more than one pack and that's some item that i know for a fact is gonna do well like no like it's gonna do well and some of them i still regret my decisions but anyways this video is getting way longer than anticipated um thank you so much for watching if you have any question or need anything please feel free to let me know um but yeah bye